Elijah was an old man, a very old man. He had been a prophet of the Lord for many years. Do you know what a prophet is? A prophet is someone who speaks for God and says what God wants him to say. All the time he was a prophet, he told the people over and over to get rid of their idols. But now his work was over and it was time for him to go on to heaven to be with the Lord. God had someone in mind to take Elijah's place. It was a young man named Elisha. We learn a lot by watching other people, and that's how Elisha learned from Elijah. Elisha went everywhere with Elijah and watched him very closely. God told Elijah to go to Bethel because there was something he needed to do there. So Elijah told Elisha to stay where he was and Elijah would go on ahead. But Elisha would not hear of it. He said, Not on your life, not on your life. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Elijah made his very last trip to Bethel to visit the students there. The young students pulled Elisha aside and said, do you know that the Lord is going to take Elijah today? Elisha said, yes, I know. Then Elijah told Elisha to stay there because God wanted him to go on to Jericho because there was something he needed to do there. Elisha said, Elijah and Elisha then traveled on to Jericho, where they visited with some of the young prophets. These young prophets also pulled Elisha aside and said, Do you know that the Lord is going to take Elijah today? Elisha replied, Yes, I know. Elijah told Elisha that God wanted him to go to the Jordan River because there was something he was supposed to do there. But Elisha would not stand for it. He said, Not on your life, not on your life. I'm not letting you out of my sight. This time, 50 of the young prophets from Jericho followed along behind Elijah and Elisha while they were going to the Jordan River. When they reached the water's edge, Elijah took off his coat folded it and then smacked it on the water. Immediately the water parted and left a dry path to walk across the river. Elijah and Elisha walked across. As they walked, Elijah asked Elisha, What do you want from me, Elisha? His answer was strange. He said, I want twice as much of your spirit. That was not something Elijah could give Elisha. Only God could give that. But Elijah told Elisha how he would be able to tell if God gave him a double portion of his spirit. Elijah said that if Elisha was permitted to see Elijah when he was taken away, then God granted this special blessing of his spirit. Suddenly, as they were walking along, a chariot of horses that looked like they were made of fire came swooping down from heaven. Right before Elisha's eyes, Elijah was taken away in a chariot of fire. There was nothing Elisha could do to keep him there, even though he was probably thinking this. Finally, the chariot and the horses of fire carrying Elijah disappeared from Elisha's sight. When he looked down, there was Elijah's coat. He picked it up and headed back to the Jordan River. When Elisha got to the river, the young prophets were still waiting on the other side. Elisha did what he had seen Elijah do. He took the coat off, folded the coat, and smacked the water. 
the waters parted, just like they had for Elijah. And Elisha walked across. The young student prophets now realized that Elisha was their new master teacher. God had taken the one who had been the student, Elisha, and given him the spirit of the teacher.